Yeah, so before I get into the books, you know, uh, one thing, a few years ago, if someone would have handed over a book, me a book, asked to read it, I would not have done that because, you know, reading is so hard. That's how I used to treat them. Um, but, you know, something changed. A young guy on a stage stands out and says, hey, this book, literally, yeah, this is exactly the book that he said, like, changed his life. That's when I'm like, oh, I've been suffering inside. Let me read this book. And that's when, like, I think I got so excited about reading that book. And within the half day or like the full weekend, I finished this book, The Rich Dad, Poor Dad book. This is the first book I read. And then, like, I'm like, my brain is now, like, literally hungry to read more books. But what really caught my attention in this book is, like, you know, he talks about um, how his rich dad used to teach him about finances and how his poor dad used to teach him about the finances and you know how the poor dad embrace about having liabilities like you know having a beautiful home having a beautiful car but you know that incurs so much debt because now it's not producing any money for him so his poor dad teaches about them you gotta be you know um, social all your friends and family should feel like you're 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 a you know smart guy but you're crying inside because you got this debt. Whereas, you know, the rich dad teaches him that you gotta create assets. You gotta minimize your liabilities. So what does that mean? He's, he's go, he goes into more in deep saying that, hey, real estate, like rental properties, not the home that you're living, the rental properties. Because, you know, they produce income for you and pay for itself, all the mortgage expenses and everything, and if there is some more left over, that means that's your cash flow. So that now that becomes an asset because asset is something that puts money into your pocket. Liability is something takes money from your pocket and puts into it. So that is what like got me excited. I'm like, he goes more in deep like about these assets on and on. I'm like, holy cow, no one really taught me this. You know, my dad never taught me this, no one, but like, See, because I read this book, now I'm like excited. Okay, what do I read? What do I want to read more? And then the second one I picked up is the Think and Grow Rich. This one gets even more deeper on, because, you know, I'm coming from a like a lower middle class family where finances, like if I talk about money in my home, like my mom used to say, oh, don't go to, don't dream too much. You will be disappointed, you know, rich or bad, all those things, you know. But this book says, rich is good. You gotta be like, you know, really super rich so that you can give employment for 100 people or 1,000 people or 200, 2,000, whatever. You're helping other families and you, you can, you know, uh, if you have extra money, you can donate to the communities. You can donate to different charities. You can, you know, improve your own place, like your neighborhood by doing certain charity works. So that switch should happen or else you cannot work on money activities. So this book helped me to make that switch happen. So that's fantastic. Now I got the you know, idea what, where I'm going towards. Now I got the mindset and now I need some skills because you know, I never really liked worked with people, especially in Canada, with different people to get some activities done. So that's when this book came into picture. The third book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. So this is like, you know, if you want to succeed in real estate as an investor, you got to know how to find a good deal. You got to communicate with people to, you know, uh, you got to influence them to give what you're looking for. So that skills you need to have. And at the same time, like you got to convince your spouse that, hey, investing is good for our family because, you know, you got to influence your family as well. You got to influence your friends to invest money with you so that you can do joint venture partners, you can grow your portfolio bigger. So must, don't convince on this book. And then like now you got these three books, like honestly, this is how the order I followed. And now, you know what, I'm excited. I know I can work with people. I know I want money. Then I got into this book, Rental, Rental Property Investing. So this goes deeper by Brandon Turner. I love this guy. You know, go uh, check out his podcast on Bigger Pockets. They have like ton of ton of stuff about real estate investing. That's a whole new world. But this book in specific, it talks about 
how you can buy a rental property, your first rental property, you know, even you can buy a rental property with 5% down or even no money. He talks about all different concepts, how you can get with like a rental or property with no money. He even talks about like house hacking, um, you know, how you can buy a house, you can live still not as a liability, but has an asset means you can buy like two unit house or three unit house, live in one unit and the other units pay your mortgage. So that means like Rich Dad Poor Dad said, you're not creating the liability, you're creating an asset in that sense. So like this is like perfect book for introducing you to the rental game. So don't give up on this one. This is like very, very crucial one. And then now I'm like, yeah, fantastic. I understood the rental properties. Maybe once you, once you start reading these books, once you get a basic grip, start taking actions because that's very important. Like, you know, reading this, reading books is awesome. Everyone got the information, but if you don't act on it, for example, in this book, when I was reading, he tells about like, you know, the high ratio mortgage that you can leverage and get a, you know, for low down payment, right? I immediately acted on that. I immediately started to find a search for a realtor in my area and found, you know, started to look for properties and we found a property and put it on contract, house hacking, exactly I followed his steps. I believed, believed in his concept, just followed it. And then, you know, once you got that concept, go into this book. So this is more like rental properties and specific niche, which is small multifamily. So still a residential properties, but you know, if you buy like single family homes, like a residential, just one family where they can live in, this guy talks about like, instead of those single families, why don't you buy three, four unit building? Just like you get one roof, you got one mechanical system and you got like four different tenants paying your mortgage, paying your expenses. So which is like more secure and it's still considered as a residential, which means you can get for like lower down payment. Because if you go to commercial, like more than four units, it become commercial. And then, you know, all that topics, like it gets a little bit more deeper. This is like after the rental property investing, you go a little bit deeper. If you wanna learn more, buy more rental properties like I do, then this book is for you. Now it's great, you understood all the uh, investing side. Now you got the good mi mindset. Now you're ready, but you're like a little bit afraid about like, how do I manage the properties? Maybe, you know, what if the toilets break? Do I go fix them in the night? Trust me, I had that fear. That's where this book come into picture. Landlording on Autopilot. Great book, talks about how you can really, you know, um, build a system around you so that the rental properties will be taken care with less work. Of course, you know, in the beginning it's hard, but if you follow his instructions, it's not that hard. And he also talks about like, you know, once you know all this, you know, concept that he talks, you can find property management companies who follow kind of similar concepts. So now you know what the property management management companies need to look for. So it helps you to find the right people or it helps you to create the right systems so you can really live the freedom, like live the life with freedom, not just like working again now going from nine to five, to you know investing but you're doing all the work that doesn't help you right it doesn't meet your goal the first goal is freedom freedom to travel freedom to spend time with your family so that's it this is will get you there so i'll stop here that's all i have for you but let me know which book is your favorite one if you haven't read anything pick up the first book and next and next and let me know how you're doing with your process. With that, make sure you hit the smash the like button, leave a comment and subscribe and the hit the bell notification. Until then, check out the other videos here, here, here. See you later. Have a wonderful day.